This piece of equipment could be from a Jules Verne novel. It's a security card. These minimum security guys didn't have a chance against a pro like Slade. That's a handsome bloke. That's a key. That's a battery. <sighs> Maybe try something else. for billions of mutants and norms around the globe. The Tesla Legacy Society has made it a top priority to repair food access, utilization, and stability by improving nutrients through genetically modified soil. The soil is designed to grow food with much more desirable genetic structure. This food is perfectly safe for human consumption and even has the potential to increase the size and health of livestock. It's a bottle of glitter. The door to the security system won't open until a DNA sample. I gotta admit, sometimes when you play God, things turn out oh dear God. This memo refers to some form of lethal energy loose in the facility, but there's electric defense gates that can be used as protection. So far, so good. I need to get to the Titan reactor, which is only accessible on the second floor.
Well, the Masters of Mayhem miss this. The Morlock over there is trapped under some furniture, but he still looks dangerous. It's amazing what time, humidity, and explosive devices can do to efficient office design. It's Mike and I camera candy comic butterscotch on the rocks. Mm, this restroom's a mess. I guess I'll just have to hold it till I get home. Generator looks like it's on its last legs. The Morlocks become cannibals. data device may hold some interesting information. Projector still looks up. This disc contains a lecture video. We would like to share the results of a special study we conducted into the potential increase of seismic activity, resulting directly from the artificial augmentation of electromagnetic georesonance, a direct result of amplifying the effectiveness of Tesla's apparatus for transmitting electromagnetic energy. What Johansson continually fails to understand, or perhaps even ignore, is the fact that based on simulations we have run, if the tower proves to be as effective as estimated, the results have the potential to be catastrophic on a global scale. If we were to amplify the output to levels which Johansson is determined to achieve, 
Combining our results with Tesla's own findings from his New York experiment in 1898, we may very well be responsible for causing seismic activity that could shatter our planet into pieces. It's a battery. It's a facial scanner that grants you access to the tax rate. I'm an upper management. Oh boy, screwdriver. This card could get me inside the executive lounge. It's an energy neutralizer. Safe for humans, but deadly for other forms of life. be quite Delicious Red Bolt. This stuff strips the enamel right up your teeth. The 
Morlock's eyesight is terrible. T's askew portrait must be reflective of his mental state. for arts and crafts projects. Oh, scissors. I better not run with these. Popsicle sticks. Yummy. Well, Tesla's director of operations reminds me of my smart-ass professor in college. He belittled and riffed all of my efforts. Dear God. Ding, 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 ding. We have a winner. Hey, it worked. Step within the accepted range. Identity not detected. Access denied. Step within the accepted range. Welcome, Kevin Maltby. Access granted. Somewhere in here is the key to restoring power to this facility. These fans are controlled by a column of knobs in the center of the display. Two fan speed indicators on either side of the column can be adjusted by turning them right or left. Turning the knobs appear to be like putting a weight on either side of the balance scale. Both dial indicators must land on 100% and not exceed it to repair it. Thank you. 
I came down to Tesla yesterday to get the spirit radio frequencies. Now I find myself on center stage in a Titan reactor with a possible meltdown scenario in progress. I need to restore the cooling rods to stop the process, but only if I don't want to be at ground zero of a nuclear wasteland with a 200 mile radius.